Well, an Olympic hopeful from Saratoga Springs is making headlines for accusing one of America's speed skating heroes of sexually abusing her when she was a young teen. In a story you'll only see here on Six, our Liz Bishop talks with Bridie Farrell about the impact that it's had on her life and why she says she can never come back home. I was sexually molested by Andy Gable. I was 15 and he was 33. Speed skater Bridie Farrell revealing a secret she kept for 16 years. She was a sophomore at Saratoga High School who already had Olympic dreams when she got involved with Andy Gable, a future four-time Olympian and silver medalist. Farrell and I talked by Skype while she trains for the 2014 Olympics in Milwaukee. He would bring me home from training. He would pick me up or bring me to skating. And I think it's important to put it in context. I mean, he would drive me because I was too young to drive a car. So he would drive me and then spending more time with me and spending more attention with me and then it moved to eventually he would kiss me and then he would kiss me more and it escalated from there. It was 1997 and they were both training for the Olympic trials. I quickly learned that it had to be a secret and if something has to be a secret then there's something wrong. Gable has recently apologized for having an inappropriate relationship with an unnamed minor and resigned as president of the U.S. speed skating. But since then another speed skater has claimed that she was raped by Gable. And why talk about it now? Because I'm finally to a place where I'm strong enough to talk about it but also, A, he's still out there, and there's other people like him out there, and there's a lot of other young kids at the skating rink, at the soccer fields, at orchestra practice. Her coach, Bob Fenn, worked with Gable years ago. I think he's a slime ball. Fenn appeared on Milwaukee TV saying he had been told by a reliable source about other women who made similar claims against Gable when they were in their teens. He told me there were three girls that... Um, he was uh, definitely uh, involved with. They're out of the sport. At least two of them are. One of them is still in the sport. Farrell says she has spent years trying to come to grips with what happened. I mean, I've been there where the option of suicide seems better than dealing with any of these things. And that's the motivation for doing it now because I can't even articulate how awful some days were. Bridie Farrell spent hours and hours of her young life practicing and competing here at the Weibel Avenue rink, but she says she can never come back. And he didn't play a role in me leaving Saratoga, but he's played a big role in me not wanting to go back to Saratoga. Why is that? Because there's so many memories. There are certain things that trigger a memory and a, a pain with him. And that is all over Saratoga. Liz Bishop, CBS 6 News.